Hey everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. Hey, I'm gonna try out the new uh, air fryer griddle combo tonight. Uh, I picked up a couple of ribeye steaks, believe it or not, I'm gonna cook them in the air fryer. And uh, I'm gonna griddle up some uh, mushrooms up on the griddle um, while they cook. So stay tuned, we'll get these things seasoned up and we'll see what we get. <music> Let's go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead and get our ribeye seasoned up here. Uh, I'm just gonna spray a little butter Pam on here. Just something as a binder, help the rub stick. Turn these over. I think it's also gonna help it brown a little bit. It's my first time <laughs> cooking uh, steak in an air fryer, that's for sure. My other grills are having a fit over here. They're a little bit jealous. And I'm gonna use uh, some of my buddy G-Max custom rub for this. I'm just gonna put these things in the air fryer and I'll just keep checking them every so often. Until they get up to about 120 degrees, then I'll put some uh, some butter on them. And um, while they cook, I'm going to go ahead and do my mushrooms up here on the griddle. So stay tuned. I'll be back. We'll get these things in. Okay, all seasoned up. Put them in. I'm probably going to let these go for about 20 minutes. Uh, then I'll check for internal temp. In the meantime, I'll get my mushrooms going. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get these shrooms on here. A little olive oil. Olive oil is a friend of mine. I think she was also a friend of Popeye's, if I'm not mistaken. Get our shrooms on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love that sizzle sound. And I've got these... Uh, set at uh, medium on both here and both of my other burners are turned off. One uh, tidbit of information, a little salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit more of the GMAC custom rub on my shrooms. Um, Tidbit of information, I didn't realize the air fryer would work independently of the griddle. I thought the griddle had to be on, and that's where the air fryer got its heat. So uh, it occurred to me to give that a try, and sure enough, uh, the air fryer can be used completely separate from this. So you don't need to have the griddle on at all. I'll let these kind of get nice and happy. Hear that sizzle. A little zoom action there. I'm cooking more shrooms than I'm going to need for two steaks, but I like leftovers, and it seems like if I don't use the whole package, I end up throwing it away, so these will be good on breakfast tomorrow. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle-a-roo, technical term. Uh, so, so far this thing's been uh, pretty good. I've, I did a couple of cooks. I did some smash burgers and I did breakfast on it this morning. One thing I notice is it does cook hot. So uh, I pretty much keep this thing on medium to medium low 
uh, all the way across and that gets me every bit of 350 to 400 degrees that I like to cook at so uh, I think if it's a little windy or a little colder outside that's going to come in real handy I'm going to turn this down a little I don't want these to get done too quick And then once I get them where I want them, I'll just move them over here on the warm area. Uh, a lot of the ambient heat transfers over into, uh, even where the burner's not on, it'll keep these nice and warm until I'm ready for them. So, pretty happy. This thing is everything I thought it would be and more. But uh, I never in a million years thought I'd be doing a steak in an air fryer. So, uh, <laughs> bear with me. So these guys are getting to be just about where I want them. Take a look at that. Holy moly. Okay, these are about close enough, I think, for now. I'm going to go ahead and move them over. Just keep them warm. And uh, kind of let them hang out. Turn that burner down to low. And these guys uh, should be perfect there for a little bit. So... Uh, stay tuned. I'll be back in a second. We'll check on these steaks. Okay, it's been about a total of 45 minutes. I want to take a peek at these guys. They're temping 130 degrees on that one. 128 and a half on that one. So those are close to done. I'm going to go ahead and Put a pat of butter on each of these with my clean hands. And I'm going to top them with some freshly chopped chives. Get in there. Like so. I'm going to put this back in for about another five minutes. We'll take them inside. And uh, we'll see what they turned out like. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay. So we have our beautiful grilled mushrooms. Got some chives. Got some butter. Got some steaks here. These things took about 50 minutes. And they feel tender. I'm gonna get, oh, yeah. So it's about a perfect medium. Um, wow. I wouldn't say they're browned on the outside. Get a little shroomy in here. Take a little bite, bite, bite a roux. Technical term. Mmm. A little crunchy crust. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm. That rub is delicious. The seasoning, the butter. Um, holy cow. Don't let my other grills hear me say this, but. That's close to as good as any steak I've done uh, on anything. Wow, that came out really good. So that's my first try on the uh, air fryer griddle combo using uh, both at the same time. Did up my shrooms. Uh, I could have timed it a little better. The shrooms got done. I ended up bringing them inside. Uh, the steak took a little longer than I thought. But buddy, I'm telling you, uh, that's a keeper. So uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, look forward to many more cooks on this thing. Um, if you're so inclined, please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.